This episode of Soulja Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys? Soulja Knows Best here. We're finally now in the year 2012. Yes, the last year that we have here on Earth. I'm just playing, guys, if you actually believe that. Um, but anyway, 2012 is a brand new year for tech. And so this video, I'm going to talk about some of the new things and some of the new trends that I think may happen um, in tech. And last year, 2011, was the big year of the tablet. This is where tablets really hit their stride with the iPad 2. Android finally started seeing some tablets come out. And I think that it's going to roll over to 2012 as well. Um, I think what it is, and I mentioned this in other videos, I'm not going to stay on this for too long, but I think we are going to see these uh, really cheap uh, tablets, not cheap as far as, you know, they just suck cheap, but uh, cheaper as far as some of the alternatives like the iPads and the Samsung Galaxy, some tablets at around the $300 price range or some some even lower like the Kindle Fire and the Nook. Um, but they're going to be solid tablets and they're going to be good enough for most people. And those are going to be coming out the woodworks now. And then um, as the hardware progresses, those are going to be really just as fast as the higher end ones that were in 2011, uh, but for half of the price. So I think that's going to be another thing. But again, of course, we're going to see the iPad 3 here very, very soon. I, I predict probably within the next three weeks, we'll probably see some announcement um, of the iPad 3. Um, then also to the Galaxy tabs will continue to get updated. So tablets will still remain strong um, here in 2012. Now moving on to cell phones, I'm going to talk about Android first. I think we're, we're going to see this year of transition for Android cell phones where I think a lot of the manufacturers will hopefully finally start getting away from these custom skins that they put on top of the regular uh, Android experience. Because one, I think a lot of people, um, including myself, I kind of prefer the stock um, Android because it's just smoother, it's cleaner, it's faster. And it's an experience that Google wants you to have with Android. Um, and, but this Google is kind of the blame for this because when Android first came out, they they promoted that they want manufacturers to put these custom skins and make Android look however you want to look, which is not a total bad thing. But uh, it does slow down the process from the manufacturers updating their handsets because they have this custom skin on, on there or this custom UI. Um, and that's just in the long run that hurts the customers because now you may have a, a Android cell phone that may be only two months old, but now you have to wait seven months before you can get an ice cream sandwich, something ridiculous like that. So um, I think we'll see this year when they transition from using these custom skins to using a lot of stock Android devices. And we're going to, of course, start seeing these quad core Android cell phones, uh, which, is, which is going to be insane. But you're going to start seeing quad core Android cell phones. I think a couple of manufacturers will take a couple leaps uh, with their cell phones with that cell phones with that. Now, moving on to Apple and the iPhone. Of course, we're only going to see one brand new iPhone this year, uh, the iPhone 5. I think it'll still come around the October time frame, just like the iPhone 4S did. Uh, but we'll see a, a redesign to it, of course. Um, and but I, be, I think one of the big things that Apple's going to be uh, doing finally now, I think in 2012, I think I'm going to predict that they will do some significant changes to the UI, to the way things look, or at least give you an option uh, to change the way some things look on there. So I think we'll, I think 2012 will be more of the because in, in the last iOS 5 update, they really got a lot of the stuff out the way, the, uh, the little little things as far as the nut and bolts of iOS. Now they can focus on the, the UI. So 2012, I think that's what we're going to see with the iPhone. As far as all the cell phone manufacturers like Microsoft with Windows Phone and, and, and RIM with their BlackBerry phones, I think that uh, this, they, they're still fighting for third and fourth place. I don't see them you know, doing something really drastic that just uh, tops Android iOS, but um, this could be the last big year for, for RIM and their cell phones. Um, I think we may see a couple new devices, but after that, this may be the start of the they already on a decline just as far as market share and, and influence and all that stuff, but this may be the, just the last big year of RIM cell phones. And now talking about computers, yes, and I'm talking about the old school computers, and that is your desktop and laptop, which is kind of old school now because we're in the age of mobile devices with these cell phones and tablets. Um, and so, so these, so these desktop systems and the laptops are kind of. Uh, they're not the main top priority of these big companies now. So, I, I, but I really don't see anything changing in 2012 with that. I will just see them beginning to fall as far as priority. Um, and uh, so, really, nothing really big is going to be happening. I don't think with desktops and laptops. Well, but eventually, when Microsoft releases Windows 8. I mean, that will be the big thing for uh, for computers. And I, I think they may be releasing in 2012. I'm not absolutely sure. Somebody correct me down in the comments. And maybe 2012 or 2013, where they're aiming to release Windows 8. Uh, but other than that, I really don't see anything in, in the the next couple of years as far as these desktops and, la and uh, laptops is something that's going to be really significant happening to them. As far as televisions, I just really see 3D becoming just standard in every single, almost every single TV set out there. It's not going to really be a perk like it was in the past because one, a lot of people still aren't sold under the 3D in the home idea, even though I think it, it has some good cases, some good uses if you have the nice glasses and, and things like that. But I think it's going to be coming on every single TV set just because you don't have to use it or not. You don't have to use it, but it'll be in there whether you want it or not. Um, and also to the other big elephant in the room is whether Apple is going to release a real TV set that may have some Apple TV capabilities, Siri and all that stuff built into it. These rumors have been floating around for the last couple of years. And I think 
it's possible that we may see that this year. Uh, they may save it for WWDC for that announcement or something like that. But it's very possible that they can start selling their own TV um, sets. It, it'll probably be a little bit expensive, but uh, that is very possible. But I can really, I can only imagine the uses of Siri uh, with your TV set. If Apple can pull that off, I think they'll be the one company that could. Uh, and with that Apple TV, the real Apple TV coming out, I think we'll also see probably the death of Google TV. Um, the sales haven't really been that outstanding. You really don't see them talk about Google TV anymore. Um, I have a Google TV, but I never use it at all. It's just not as as uh, integrated in my daily use, uh, whereas maybe something like Siri on the TV, as it's not really in, in instituted in my daily life on my 4S, but uh, Siri using the TV to search for, search for a channel, search for a show, will be a little bit more useful, uh, and that will probably cause the death of Google TV. Now, as far as cameras and things like that, I think that we're going to still see them getting better and cheaper, better and cheaper, um, because right now for you know 150 bucks, you can probably get an HD camera uh, that that does pretty well, and especially for like 200 dollars, 250 dollars, you can get a digital camera that shoots a really amazing HD video so I just see HD cameras and all that stuff getting cheaper and better uh, within this year just like the following trend has been for the you know the past couple of years and as far as just like brand new products coming out of left field you know something to really kickstart a revolution like the iPad did for tablets or something like that I, I I don't you know I can't really predict something or see something like that happen this year besides that maybe if Apple does like a, a true Apple TV or something like that but I can't see anything this year but again I can't predict everything but hopefully they hopefully something comes out that really just changes the game as far as how we use products and things like that so anyway guys this is just a, a a video of me just doing my 2012 predictions about how i think technology will happen this year of course i'm going to be wrong on some things hopefully i am and, and hopefully there's some some new things to come out but of course i will be covering it here for you guys but anyway before we go ahead and totally end this video it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video Today's sponsor is Netflix. With over 23 million members, a lot of people are already streaming movies to their TV sets via their Xbox, PlayStation, Apple TV, or Google TV, or to their cell phones or tablets because most of these devices already have Netflix applications. So you can stream as many movies as you want, as many movies, you can stream as many movies um, as you want from their library, and there's no late fees, no due dates, nothing like that. So if you're going to try it out, you can get a free 30-day trial if you go to netflix.com forward slash soldier to see how Netflix will work out for you. Again, go to netflix.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, this brings an end to this video, but please leave a comment down below about what you think is going to happen in 2012 as far as technology and everything's going to happen as far as what new products are going to come out, what new products that you want to see. Leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.